So I only really have one story time and it's just kind of a series of unfortunate events. Okay, so basically, if you're like a creator, you have to have like certain credentials to like get around, obviously for like safety reasons so that like a murderer doesn't like come in and like kill David Dobrik, you know what I'm saying? We have like a special badge, we have like a special wristband, like we have all of our special shit, you know what I mean? I was walking around with my friends. Yes, I have friends. Um, we're in the creator area of the hotel. There was a special section that was separated off for only creators and famous people so they weren't attacked by their like sammies and I turn around and I see this girl walking around with us. She was like wearing no clothes. Like she was just wearing like a bathing suit and like shorts and like no shoes, nothing. What's going on? I was wearing a bathing suit top and shorts. Not my outfit of choice if I knew what was about to go down, but so were the other 10,000 people there. And I looked at her badge and I was like, that is not uh, right. Looks a little off. It looked like it was from like 2009. I was lucky enough to have been given a badge to get in from my friend who is a creator. She ends up talking to me and she's like, this is like my friend's badge. Like it's not mine. Like I don't even know, like I'm, am I going to be okay? I approached Emma because she seemed more my age and more laid back than everyone else. And I explained to her my situation and how I got there and what should I do. And she was so reassuring and invited me to come with them. We end up walking around, we go to a few people's rooms, we're just chilling, she's kind of just like lingering around. No one cared that I was there. They all just were shocked that I made it all the way up there without getting caught by security. All right, I gotta like talk to her, you know, like make sure she's all right. I remember talking to Emma like once, whenever everyone was blaring rap music and it was way too loud for any form of conversation trust me so finally we were gonna go to the like creator party which is like actually really boring and later that night we tried going to the creator party so anyway we're getting into this party we were with like 20 people right and I let everyone go in front of me because I'm a polite ass bitch this girl is in front of me the girl that had been following us around all night that I did not know she shows her badge and the guy immediately is like that's not real. I was caught by security and they took my badge and it wasn't that dramatic. That's literally just what happened. And he's like, where'd you even get this? And she's just like lying. And he's like, yeah, you need to go before we'll kick you out. I meet up with my friends. We're like walking into the party and she like literally goes like, no, take me back to the hotel. I knew I was set to get in trouble at this point. So I called after Emma and asked if she minded just making sure I got back to the hotel safely. And she told me, of course. And then the security guard who's like letting everyone in is like, are you associated with her? And I was like, no. He was like, if you take her back to the hotel and if you're associated with her we might have to take away your credentials i'm like what are you fucking talking about she told the security guard oh it's fine i got her i'm like i don't even know this girl and then like selfishly like brings me into her own situation and like makes me take her back to her hotel room she rode on the golf cart with me like it, it, she kept apologizing to me. She was, she was saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry this happened. I'm so sorry. It's safe. We're at Playlist Live. We're not at fucking like, I don't know, the state pen. Like, we're like, it's safe here. But she dragged me into this situation and made me go back with her. And I was like, no, 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 no. This has been so much fun. So insane. Like, you don't even understand. Thank you so much. And like, Girl, at this point, it's been almost like 30 minutes because this whole situation had just caused a huge issue, okay? It, I knew I wasn't taking away from any plans that she had. It only took a couple of minutes. I don't... She's somehow watching this, which she probably isn't. And then she posted... I'm sorry that you triggered me, but you did. You don't have to understand, I don't watch YouTube. I'm not a fangirl. I could care less about who I'm standing with or who I'm talking to, given the chance that I even know their name. 